Patrick Moore moved into his house in Salsey on the 29th of June 1968. He bought it outright with no mortgage and his bank balance stood at precisely half a crown, but he never regretted it. It's a goodish part of the world, I think, for observing it because we get clearer skies here than most places in England. But if you ask me why I came to Salsey, the answer was simply because I like it here. I've always known it and this is where I wanted to live. His enthusiasm for astronomy, and in this case, the lunar pull on the spring tides, was infectious. It's absolutely tremendous. There's no doubt at all of it. The force of the tides is the biggest natural force in the entire world. He set up his own observatory and became an inspiration to a new generation of astronomers, like 10-year-old Ian Sharp. It was great. He spent a couple of hours showing me around, giving me books and... Uh, general encouragement and then I went round again later that evening when it was in dark and clear and it, it was it was a fantastic day I never forget it and uh, it was really the inspiration that uh, kicked me off into a career if you like as a, a passionate amateur astronomer uh, and indeed influenced my career as a scientist in my professional life. He could easily have become an enigmatic recluse but that wasn't his style. I think the first thing people saw of Patrick was uh, Patrick would go around the village on a bike and this bike had no brakes. It was full of rust and he would wobble through the high street. He also became the membership secretary of Salsey Cricket Club and the combination of the two, washed down with a bottle of wine, often got him into trouble. Oh, I remember one of my first games after a few glasses of wine, one of the lads in our team, because Patrick always had to come up on his bicycle, and one of the lads went out and turned his saddle around and Patrick left the building and come back in 10 seconds later thinking someone had stolen his handlebars. <laughs> Your breakfast will be prepared for you, good demon. Patrick threw himself into the community spirit. He also became the regular baddie in the Christmas pantomime. Please, I'm having trouble with my horns. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, they will keep on doing that. He began to dabble in a new career as a composer, writing the scores for operas and his love for drama meant he frequently starred in them as well. Patrick was a keen cook and showed Saturday presenter Andrew Harvey round his herb garden, but his pièce de résistance was his fiery banana curry. Patrick was also a member of the Selsey Curry Club, which toured the Indian restaurants of West Sussex and beyond. There's a time we went to, uh, of course, one curry house, uh, where Patrick walked in first, of course, he recognised him, and of course, he was a sort of welcome, famous man, and he asked him if he would like a drink on the house, and Patrick said, yes, please, eight gin and tonics, as we all came in behind him. Patrick was knighted in 2001 for his pioneering efforts in astronomy. He once remarked that he knew his way around space better than he knew his way around London. Cyberspace was another matter. When he finally decided to upgrade his ancient Woodstock typewriter for a computer, things didn't go to plan. We set up his internet account and we got him on the web and he was very impressed um, because I say he could get onto NASA, all these sort of uh, sites to download pictures. And we explained you can just do a little search in the search bar and we left him with it and um, I got back here to the office and about a quarter of an hour later the phone rang and he said Tim I'm in trouble. I said what's happened Patrick? He said well I typed in the search line Uranus probe. He said and what I've got on the screen has got nothing to do with planets. <laughs> Patrick Moore's fame reached far beyond astronomical circles, eccentric and outspoken, but his friends will remember an incredibly generous and genial host. He was a man with his head in the stars, but his feet firmly in West Sussex.